Hello everyone, and this is the Bat Mac. It is one of my mocks that I decided to do because I've seen the sets from the Batman movie getting released November 27th. I do have to say my custom mock does fit in with the Batman movie, actually. The sets getting released in the Wave 1. I am aware of the Wave 2, but this is supposed to be Wave 1 with the Batman stuff. So what we have for minifigures is more of a clean cut Bruce Wayne right over here. I he, the, his face was based on the Bruce Wayne from Batman versus Superman. Just don't mind the orange hair. It was supposed to be gray, but I didn't get that in time. And this uniform is less detail of the actual suit he is in, so he doesn't have the detail for his pants or anything or his cape and he does not come with a mask. And that's what he looks like in the back, as you see right there. Oh, there you go. That cape is perfect. And what I have here is the Batman, the suit, the bat suit that he wears for for his mech. It's, as you see, there, the pants is right here. I put his pants on. It was based on, super, on some of the Superman prints, I do know. And it use it doesn't use the new bat molds. It uses the new one that came after the. Uh, sorry about that. It came after the original molds. So yeah. And what I used here was the scuba diving head from a Batman set. It was a scuba diving head that was used. Why isn't it? Yeah. Well. It also shows the, like I said, that's his back face, and this is his front face. Finally, the camera focused on that, and and that's really about it for his suit. Now, let's go to the part that you guys been waiting for, the mech. Yep, the mech. So, we got here for the mech. Let me, let's move the camera a bit close for the, for the gear of this mech, this is where the minifigures can access it by opening that. And a normal minifigure can go right in here, angled like this. Let's get him in there. And his head goes in like that. And it goes up like that. And he would hold on to the bars, but that would be like his control panels, but it's pretty hard to put him there. But I am satisfied the way he's in like that. And also, if you see on the sides over here, his cape kind of make wings. I am aware that my mech does not have these wings that almost like every single bat set has. But that's what makes it unique in its own way. And what I put over here on the sides is these weapon, is the swords. It kind of reminds people, I'm guessing, of Ninjago. But this is nothing compared to Ninjago. It's the same way on the other side, too. And it, all the joints move. Blasters are on both sides. Like that one and that one there. And we also... Sorry, we also, we also have these three 2x2... Two two, <clears throat> um, upside down. I forgot the name of them, but... Let me give you guys a better a zoom of that. That's what I used there to give it more of a smooth look. I mixed the I, mi I had dark gray, light gray, brown pieces, gold pieces, and black pieces, of course. And also on his boot over there, we got right over here is a bit of a side build, you can say. I'll show you guys a bit of a side build, as you see there. Right over here, it's angled a bit, and then right here is green. For some reason, I want to put that green as its color when it lights up. And also, I kind of made it leak into Marvel, as you probably saw in the beginning of the video. It kind of looks like something War Machine would have, but let's don't focus on War Machine. What this is, is a blaster that would be on the mech, kind of like an autopilot, or maybe because his eyes are blue, these would he could see through this. So even when he's not on the mech, he could see through that. And he could see whatever's going on. And he can also shoot out of it. Shoot any kind of laser that the thing shoots out. <laughs> Both of the arms, like I said, are joinable. The legs are a bit small. But what this really is, is supposed to be a match for 
um the I forgot its name already. The Mr. Freeze Mac. I you could probably find that in my one of my playlists, the convention footage at the New York Comic Con. This I think it the way it looks to me, I think this is a bit taller than that mech. But we'll see what goes on there. And also what the clean cut Bruce Wayne wear has as like an accessory is a stud shooter as a grappling hook. And also, just to give the action play for younger ages, if it was a set, it shoots out this laser piece. This is supposed to represent a laser. Of course, you're not going to have this hanging out of the gun like that. It's going to be like that. And then the laser shows up and pops out like so. What I did, I used some translucent pieces for this. Nothing really special. But at the end, I definitely put a stud there. I put a stud here and I made it look more like a shockwave. Like boom. Something like that, you could say. So, leave a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys next time